Salutations! My name is Clips, EQ for short, and welcome to 100 Days of Modded Skyblock. I've decked out Minecraft with hundreds of mods to put a spin on the traditional Skyblock experience. My goal these 100 days is to kill the dragon. No, not that dragon. Uh, this dragon. An electrical breathing beast from the other. And I'm gonna kill it, or die trying. Also, this whole video was edited by the lovely Thomas Ashwell. He's a new member of our team, and you should go give him some love. He helped out a lot on this project, and I'm excited to work with him down the road. Also, also, if you like this video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, you can always unsub, and leave a comment for the algorithm god so that they bless this video. But we've got a dragon to slay, so this is 100 days of modded Skyblock. Oh, and we swear a lot on this channel, and YouTube likes to take all of our money, I can't even afford to buy Thomas a burger, so if you want to help, we're opening a Patreon. More details in the description, but anything helps. And if you can't donate, don't worry, my content will always be free. That's all. Enjoy the video. Starting off these 100 days, we're on a typical Skyblock, 3x3 three three dirt block with a tree on it. Smells like childhood. But this isn't your same old basic Skyblock that you're used to, which is evident in the quest book. This Skyblock is completely modded to hell, and we're going to stray way off the beaten path of a typical Skyblock. Starting off, I held right-click on some dirt, and it gave me tons of rocks. Those rocks were turned into cobble, and we made a platform. The platform was built below sea level, because the book told me it would prevent phantoms from coming to take my firstborn child at night. There was also a button in the book to give me an extra bucket of lava and water in case I ruined the cobblestone generator. I took them and tried to cheese a cobble generator early on, but we need iron first. So I really didn't succeed. At night, I borented trees by shaking my butt at them violently, and we're on to day two. Day two, using silkworms I got from those borented trees, I infested more trees to get string and used a crook to collect them. That string was turned into a mesh, and I used sieves to basically admit myself to right-clicking hell for the rest of forever. So the way this mod pack works, at least early on, you hammer out cobblestone into gravel, sand, and dust. All of these things give you different items like ore pieces from gravel, and those ore pieces make ores, and you can get where it goes from there. Day three, we made enough iron to make buckets and complete the automatic cobblestone generator. No more rocks and pebbles. This cobble gen just pops out rocks automatically for me now, and I can just hammer them out into the sieves. Also, completing a quest gave me four dark oak saplings. Lastly, on day three, I made crucibles to get infinite water. Day four was just all sieving. I told you I damn myself to right-clicking gravel for all eternity, and this is just the beginning. I got my first diamonds, and at night, I clearly didn't light the place up good enough because everything tried to fucking kill me. Okay, we need more light. L a lot more light. We need an excessive amount more light. Stop. Quit spawning things. What are you? Oh, I don't want to know. I don't actually want to know. Mmm. Nowhere near enough light. <gasps> Day five, I lit the shit out of this place because I'm not gonna fucking die on day five. Hell no. Then I kept on sieving to get a couple more diamonds to make an auto hammer so we can automate this whole process. It requires energy though, so I built a little coal generator and threw it on top to speed it up. Danger, danger. Pollen levels so high it will kill a man. Oh, oh shit, uh, Thomas cut that out. <laughs> day six, more sieving. I, y y you understand my pain yet? I need diamonds, iron, gold, uranium, steel, lead, aluminum, and pretty much everything else on the fucking planet. And all of that comes from sieving. And all of that is needed for some fucking RF generation. RF stands for, uh, redstone fuck. Yeah, that works. And we need a lot of redstone fuck to power all of our machines to progress in this mod. So I'm using those diamonds and emeralds to upgrade my meshes to specifically generate a lot of uranium. But I'm not taking any chances, so I went to sleep as night fell. I'm learning. Very slowly, but I'm learning. Night. Nighty. Day eight, here's a kitchen sink. Please enjoy. The reason I'm doing this is to make a crucible. Fire that crucible, and you can place a heat source under it to melt the cobble into lava. That's really slow, but we can speed it up by using blocks of uranium which emit a lot of heat. I'm an idiot, it's not fired. I'm over here sitting here thinking, I was like, why is this not working? This makes no sense. I'm just an idiot. At night, I also made an alloy melter so I can get electrum and refined iron and shit. Woo. I, I put that in the script, I went, woo. <laughs> Day nine, I had everything I needed to make a sustainable source of redstone fuck. Oh yes, of course, we need so much more redstone. How could I have been so naive? Fuck! Except two whole pieces of redstone. 
which took me all fucking day to get. Because I have to sift dust, which means I need to hammer cobble for like 30 years into gravel, then sand, then dust. And then it's only like a 3% chance to get one from the drop, and I just needed two! It, just, it was just... It was such an ordeal, man. Literally took me all of day 9. Instead of explaining the machine that I'm going to build for you guys, you're now going to have to wait till day 10, because all I did was get two pieces of redstone today. But you know, while I've got you here and you were sieving for redstone, I'd just like to talk to you about something. Uh, well, you know, about something... Like specific about like well, so it's like a lot of YouTubers say so like they they would like tell you that so that, and then, then they would put up a, sh a chart here as well and it would just and they would tell you to just fucking subscribe hit the button hit the fucking button I'm stalling hit the button subscribe to me day ten and I went to build my generator and I'd love to tell you how it works but I can't because I need to build a power cell and they changed the recipe of that in this mod to require rubber and you can only get rubber early on by having dandelions. Yeah, a yellow fucking flower is stopping me from being able to generate redstone fuck. And it has to be a yellow flower. Nothing else works. It's so bullshit. So I spent another day getting fucking flowers. All I want is a power cell. Is it that much to ask? Fine. In the meantime, we're gonna get more redstone because apparently I need that more than I need oxygen or love from my parents. Jesus fuck. I wish I could tell you that this wasn't foreshadowing for something in the future, but it totally is. Now, on day 11, I can explain my creation. Using cobblestone generators, I can keep crucibles filled, and uranium will melt them into lava. That lava then can go through pipes right into the dynamos, which turn the lava into redstone fuck. All of that accumulates in this battery, and we're generating 10,000 fucks a minute. I don't know the specifics of this mod, but it feels like I got here really quickly. RF on day 11, I think I'm ahead of the curve. I know some comments are gonna harp at me telling me I'm four hours behind everything else and I'm doing everything so slow, but fuck you, let me sit in my echo chamber and think I'm cool. Day 12, now that we're done with all this sieving, it's back to sieving. God fucking damn it. Is it too late to choose another mod pack, Thomas? It is? Ah, damn it. I sieved all day. I sieved all night. I sieved my whole life. I saved in the afterlife. I just fucking saved. Day 13 was organization. I had so many little fucking ore pieces and so much appetite, ruby, arcane gems, so much garbage that I couldn't even find anything in my chests. Oh, I turned Irish. <laughs> and before you ask, no, I refuse to use storage drawers. I'm not gonna do it. Fuck you. I have a boycott against that mod. Why? Cause it's too much for my tiny brain to figure out, that's why. I had so much shit that it carried on to day 14. So many little ore pieces that all have to be made into ore chunks and so many random ores that I gotta put into blocks and flint. So much fucking flint. So much fucking flint just everywhere. I have more flint than I do the will to live right now. Take that as you will. Just look at all of these ore chunks. Oh my God, look at all the netherite scrap. We have two stacks. All right, well. We're gonna do stuff with this, but I'm not done organizing. Fuck. Day 15 and we're finally organized and the agony is over. Now that I have everything nice and neat, I realized I have the stuff needed to build a pulverizer. The pulverizer will help me double these ore chunks into two ingots instead of one. And I'm building a redstone furnace as well so the entire machine setup can be run by the lava generator. Day 16, I'm making a third platform. I know it looks stupid, but I stand by what I've always said about circles in Minecraft. They're really, really hard to fucking make. So don't worry about its looks. Don't comment down below telling me it looks like a lopsided third graders drawing or walrus balls or something. Just shut up. Circles are hard, damn it. We need a fucking dirt farm. I I, I knew there was a way to get dirt. It doesn't say it in the JEI, but I knew. Hold on. Maybe they changed it. Let me make sure they didn't just change it. Day 17, I tried to make all the dirt I could, and since I also fucked up my dark oak saplings, <coughs> threw them into the void, <coughs> I tried to use botany plants to regrow the last one I had into three, so I could use the best wood in Minecraft, hands down, don't at me. Day 18, and I already know I'm 100% getting flack for this one. This is my auto siever, and hammer, brr, brr. It's gonna take cobble, break it into gravel, and sieve and break it into sand and sieve again. There's probably a much better way to do that than this, but fuck you, this is the best you're getting from me. I claim to be a funny, funny haha, -ha, not a big brain, all right? At night, a wandering villager stopped by our base and had the rune-forged greaves. I want those! I want them so bad! I was way too poor, so I couldn't buy them. I asked my mom for allowance money, and she told me to get a job, so I guess I'm not getting the cool shoes. 
What a stupid fucking joke. And on top of the shoe sadness, my RF machine is no longer producing enough RF to keep things running smoothly with the new fucking addition. I don't know why. Maybe because it looks like it was built by a five-year-old or... I don't know. I think one of the problems might be in the energy battery. So I went to make a different type of the one the next day. And guess what? It needs some fucking dandelions too. So... We got all the dandelions and made another energy cell. That really didn't do shit. Red alert, boys, the new power cell did not fix anything. And there is a creeper on my base. Day 20, I just tried to bullshit my way to make the lava generator work, but it's just not fucking working. Then I stumbled across a heat generator, which I can use lava to bullshit my way to energy production. This took me all night, and of course, that means I fucked up because I was awake during nighttime. There's a lot of enemies here, and it's not good. I just want to make my machine work. Why do you guys have to be this way? Oh my god. Oh, put that shit in. That was scary. Oh. After that, I went the fuck to sleep. I'm not fucking with this anymore. <laughs> Day 21, I even made a netherite chest plate for extra protection. This isn't going to do much, but I'm scared as fuck of dying. Later in the day, I jerry-rigged the whole generator to make sure it's making more redstone fuck than we were losing. We are gaining power! It took a, a whole ghetto-ass setup for some heat generators. Day 22. Whack! The rest of day 22 and even day 23 was me fixing up the base. I need not only a house, but I don't want all of these potholes that I can fall into, so I made sure to fill them in with glass. My man just existed. He just started being a thing. Day 23 in particular, I branched out to build a platform that would quickly become my house. And because I'm good at modded Minecraft, I built it really fast with a construction wand. See? I'm good at Minecraft. That being said, everything went wrong. Unmute mic. Fear. Fear. Ah, bigger fear! Oh, oh, no, 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 I have no food on me. Oh, no, 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 Editor, keep this in. Uh, I can't eat blaze powder. I can't eat iron. Here's 16 more emeralds. I guess I can look at them as I fucking die. This is not good. Editor, editor, fear. I got a nether wood sapling. This helps me so much. Thank you. You wouldn't believe how many torches I have here and how much it just doesn't matter. Sleep, 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 sleep. So everything is fucking up and I need to not die. So I used all my emeralds to make a set of gear and hopefully I can now live and not die. And live, and specifically, just in case you didn't, you didn't catch that last part, not die. Also red tree pretty. I like pretty red tree. I spent the rest of the day chopping trees so I can actually have a house. I keep getting ambushed at night and just on my base and that's not okay. Bada bing, bada boom, mom's a mushroom, cut! This kept on going into day 25. I just chopped a lot of the trees and the red ones dropped nether bananas. Beautiful. Why have we not talked about this yet? Nether banana. Nether, ne nether, bana nether banana? Nether banana. <laughs> nether, there's a nether banana. I'm eating the nether banana. I really thought it was gonna kill me. <laughs> on our way to day 26 and I'm building this house and yeah, you guessed it. It's a circle, and circles are fucking impossible, but I built with them. Why, you ask? There's like rocks rolling around in my head, and when they bonk into each other, I do dumb things. Day 27, I'm still building this house, and I didn't even put a proper roof on the second floor. Look, in this 100 days, I'm trying to get really decked out and kill a big fuck-off dragon, not make a million-dollar mansion. That's a house, boys. I don't know how to make the roof on it. I don't know what I want to do design-wise, so I just don't make a roof. Go to bed. And about this dragon, I need to do some research to get strong enough, because these dragons are actually a little stronger than usual. The first thing I want to do is make a jetpack out of wood, because science. I didn't think that would work. You just stick it in the energy cell and it just... How do you fly? I built it and had the shortest and shittiest flight ever. I'll have to upgrade this later. Next up, obsidian. Getting obsidian with a crucible and water, I made myself a nether portal and hopped in. I did this to see what the nether had to offer. If there is a warped forest biome, I can get a lot of ender pearls and make it to the end really easy. The nether was completely empty, but I do think that we can find a warped forest. 
All right, so new project. We need to make a dust maker for infinite redstone so we can build a lot of machines. Day 30, after that, I just waited for the iron to smelt in my furnace. So, uh, editor, put up a picture on your computer. Pick one, I don't care which one. Put up a random picture. Don't question me, just do it. Good. Day 31, we started grinding out dust for redstone. This took way too long, but it works. Kinda. We're draining RF again, for fuck's sake, but whatever. Day 32, I'm completing the quest line for jetpack and a portable battery. And I went out to upgrade my jetpack as well. Went from wood to stone, and from 20k fuel to 100k fuel. Then I broke the fucking game somehow. I managed to do this every fucking 100 days, I swear to god. So what happened was in the nether, I teleported, and it crashed, so I had to relog. When I did, the nether just teleported me to fucking nowhere in the middle of the void. I call bullshit, so I had to fix that manually. Oh, no, you, no, 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 we don't do that here. No, this is not fair. No, as you can plainly see, I was in my portal like a good boy. Okay, fuck that. Absolutely fuck that. Fuck that. If anyone wants to call me out on cheating, go fuck yourself. Where's the, how do I get back home? That took all day to make things not be completely ruined, because Modern Minecraft is super perfect and never has any problems and is amazing and it always fucking works and it's never cracked. A stone jet pack isn't doing it for me. I'm gonna need another upgrade, so I went to silver, and I now have 1.2 million storage so I can fly around for a long time. After I charged up the jetpack, I made a grassland biome, which equivocates to a fucking couple blocks on a grass platform. Can't wait to have animals in a flourishing ecosystem on my 14 by three blocks. I can now build a thing! Go away! <laughs> Why does everything hurt so bad in this game? God! At night, I decided I needed a mob grinder because I need tons of XP and bones uh, for bone meal. But mostly XP, so I can enchant the shit out of my gear because in a couple days, I'm gonna go fight the dragon. Uh, no, not that dragon, this dragon. We'll get there, which is not there yet, because first I need to kill the ender dragon. But a little off track, I finished the mob grinder on day 35. Using the construction wand, it was super easy. I made a sword for the first time in these 100 days, literally 35 days in, and then I started whacking away at the mobs. Day 36, my mob grinder exploded. And then this happened. Almost died. I fixed up the grinder and went back to it. I made sure to keep all the rotten flesh I had later because I needed to make leather. The next day, my fucking mob grinder exploded again. Okay, who the fuck keeps just ruining the mob grinder? Who keeps doing that, huh? Okay, it's some of you guys. I found the culprits. Oh my God. No one told me that your mob grinder in this would fucking blow ass. But here we are. Ass blowing central, I'm your host, fucking ass blowing. And welcome to ass blowing. Right after I patched it up, it fucking exploded again. That's three explosions so far. You did not. You did not fucking explode again. You did not. You literally fucking didn't. You did not. Day 38, I don't want to deal with an exploding mob farm, so I'm going out to find that warped forest. I'm gonna find these endermen and build a platform, but I think there's a problem. One of the mods adds the craziest fucking zombies and skeletons ever, and it causes them to spawn instead of only endermen. Maybe one of these mobs are what's actually blowing up my fucking grinder. Day 39, I'm building a little shelter to wait for endermen to spawn, lure them over, and kill the fuck out of them. I'm also knocking out a ghast or two, because I'll need those tears for later. The piglins are making this hard though, so after I got eight pearls, I headed back home where it's safe. Or at least, relatively safe. Track record shows it's not that safe. Day 40, it's another recording session, and I log back in and my fucking mob grinder exploded again. It just keeps doing this. I don't understand how or why. Fuck, dude. Well, it blows up. It just does. It's just, it's, that's just one of the perks of my mob grinder is that it just explodes every once in a while. I don't, fu why? Why do you do this? Why? Why do you just go boom? Day 41, at this point, I fucking give up. I'm just gonna leave the thing blown up and hope that 42 levels is enough for me. It blew up again, I'm not touching it. Fuck you. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. They, they're gonna blow up the whole thing themselves, and I'm just gonna let them. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I ran into another problem today, though. I'm out of food. No animals have ever spawned here, I don't have a farm yet, and I've just been living off of apples from trees. I didn't understand why no animals were spawning, even with a lot of grass around, but there is a reason. So instead of starving to death, I chopped trees for apples and bananas so I could at least eat today. That might not be enough though, so I spent the rest of the day precariously making the worst farm ever. You know, because it has to be on brand with the rest of the things that I built these 42 days. Day 43, I finished making the farm, then got more pearls. I know I'm doing a lot all at once, but I'm going for this dragon's ass, man. I gotta move quick. Day 44, I made the ender eyes for the portal. Don't worry, you get blaze powder from dust, so all that was really easy, and that's why I glossed over it. And so now we can head to the end. Except, we can't. We need a cake. Because this is modded Minecraft, and if you thought things were going to make sense, you clearly have the wrong channel. So we need a cake. Normally, that's not a problem. But in Skyblock, I don't got any fucking animals! Using starlight transmutation, I can beckon upon the stars to turn a pumpkin into a cake. Yes, yes indeed, that's what we're doing. I'm never getting to the end of this game. <laughs> After searching for a while, I found that the solution was cow bait, or any animal bait for that reason. If we place the bait down in a reconstruction of the biome that the animal comes from, we can extract an animal. I don't know where that animal comes from, we're literally living in the fucking void, but they make their way over. I did kind of fuck up and delete my last grass block though, so I sieved dirt for grass seeds, made it, and begun the progress of catching me a cow and chicken. Day 46, and I'll give you one guess as to what fucking exploded! I repair it, it breaks. I repair it, it breaks. Why do I even bother? I don't know. Silver lining, all the water that ruined the grinder made all the zombies turn into drowned, so that when I killed them, all I got was tons and tons of fish. So, food problem solved? In the most roundabout way possible? Also, guess what? It fucking exploded again. <laughs> Fuck it, just leave it there. I finished the day and I made an enchantment table. Next day, I've summoned a cow from the sky gods and instantly pulled out a bucket and started yoinking. <laughs> Three things of milk later, we wait for the chicken. Boom, we have chicken. Now we can make the ender cake. Next day, and we have an ender cake. The way this works is you right click it and it sends you to the end. This can be repaired by clicking on it with an eye of ender. I guess they did it because you like can't get a set of normal end portal frames in game. I it would make some more sense to just use a recipe, but okay, whatever. We're hanging this up for now, because before I fuck up the dragon, it's time for more organization! Day 49 through 50, I once again had an overflow of ore pieces, stone, zombie flesh, the Declaration of Independence, seeds, just had all of the shit. So we organized everything and moved storage to the top of my house. Cows, chickens, pigs, and sheeps only spawn on grass block. How'd you get up here, little friend? Yeah? Night 51, and for some reason, the cows have duplicated. I didn't place down any more seeds or breed any cows, but they're still here and taking refuge in my not house house. I asked them to leave, but they said they have squatter's rights. So I guess I'm kind of fucked. Day 52, I'm making refined iron. To do this, I need an osmium compressor to make components for the refiner, crushing redstone and diamond to infuse everything to make some refined iron. God, that's some nerd shit. But the best part about this, and the reason it's worth it, is I'm gonna burp. <laughs> The best part about doing this, and the reason it's worth it, is now that I have refined iron, I can make refined obsidian, and that is kind of busted. Using refined obby to make a sword will give me a bad bitch with 13 damage, and then with sharpness, that kicks it up to over 15 damage. It also makes some pretty strong gear. Day 53, one of the last upgrades I need is the Platinum Jetpack. Not only does it hold like 10 million redstone fuck, it also has some actual bulk to it and protects me. So I spent all day using my Platinum, which I'll never use for anything else, and made it. Then it was time for it to charge. And it took around 50 million years. While my jetpack is filling with RF, that's the abbreviation for redstone fuck, I started enchanting, made sure to deck out all my gear in whatever enchants I could reasonably muster. And here's what I got. My helmet. It's got proc 3, mana 3, unbreaking 3. It's kind of normal, but it's fine, it's good enough. My leggings. Magic protection 4, soulbound 4, useless, unbreaking 4, weird, and mana boost 3. My boots, Feather Falling 4 and Projectile Protection 4. My sword, Nature's Mend. This is basically an enchant that lets you repair your tool like mending if you're around grass or nature or flora or fauna. I may look a little goofy with all this on, but I'm protected and ready to fight the dragon. Just 
one thing's missing. Day 55, I made the most insane bow ever. Check this out. My bow has True Shot 2, Infinity, Punch 2, Power 3, Quick Shot 2, Soulbound, Flame, Multi Bow, and Quick Draw 1. Yeah, that's right, Quick Draw and Quick Shot. And now I just need Unbreaking. And I got it. Now the dragon doesn't stand a chance. This bow is actually really broken. Also, I upgraded my shield, but that's not like important because it's not that useful, but I just thought it was cool that you could properly enchant shields in this mod, so I just wanted to bring that up. Okay, cool. I don't have a cake with me. Hope that's not a problem. I was scared of you, motherfucker. Uh, I mean, that's a lie. You can hit me with those, which do much to me. I guess you got me. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? What part of my brain thought that was okay? In Minecraft work. Why did I do that? I don't have gapples. Why did I do that? Why did I not bring gapples? Why am I stupid? Can you perch? I don't want to waste all my arrows. I mean, I know I have infinity. Fine, we'll do it this way. Fuck you. No, 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 I'm on my way. You're not gonna. You're really easy to hit at least because you're. I'm gonna just kill you like this. I swear to God. Oh, look who decided to perch. As they have fucking four health left. Good. Good. I'm proud of you. Asshole. All right, I wonder what we get for killing the dragon. Let's find out. Scales, good, need those. Easy dub, but that's not the dragon I'm looking to slay. She did drop dragon scales, but as of right now, I can't do much with them. So I hopped into the rest of the end to get me some elytra. I spent a long time looking for end cities, even bumping my render distance and abusing the chunk loading map, but I found nothing, which is weird. I like really searched for this shit. So when I turned up empty, I Googled it and found out that they disabled end cities in this mod. Like, sure, man. It's not like I wanted to play fucking Minecraft or anything. Fuck you, whatever. I went back to base and slept big largely. Day 57, we have to change tactics because I was going to make dragon scale armor, but we don't have any of this arcano shit to even make the elytra part of it. So instead, I'm shifting goals, because now I want all the modium gear. You see, if I make all my sieves netherite sieves, they will have like a 0.2% chance to drop a piece of all the modium. Four of those pieces makes a chunk of all the modium, which makes two ingots, and I want to get a set of armor, so I gotta get cracking, because ATM gear is insane. That's gonna take a while to make all the sieves netherite and sieve for ATM, so in the meantime, I'm expanding my shitty stone island once more to have space to learn about Botania. Day 59, while I make all the sieves, I'm gonna explain Botania to the best of my ability, since that's gonna be our side hustle the rest of these 100 days. Botania is a mod based off flowers. Flashbacks. These flowers have magical bullshit energy, and we need to harness that to make geo-magical BS blah 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 blah. It ends in a crazy boss fight, which is named Gaia. So that's what we're going for, because it sounds badass. But to do that, I'm going to have to learn everything about endoflames, hydrangeas, pure daisies, every flower in the universe. Look, I make Minecraft videos. Do you think I know about flowers, or have even touched grass before? Exactly. This is gonna be a struggle. Day 60 and my sieves need so many diamonds to upgrade to netherite, so I have to wait to upgrade them any further. So in the meantime, flowers. Botania doesn't use normal flowers like dandelions, thank fuck, but they do have special flowers that can only be made with a special mix in this mod. So I made that and started getting the flowers, specifically the mystical white flower. We can use that to make a pure daisy and the pure daisy turns wood and stone into living wood and living rock. Watch. Still like waiting on it. Ah! Ah! Let's go. Okay, so it's it's how long it's placed down for. <laughs> that didn't scare me. That didn't scare me. That's not a thing that happened. That's not a thing. Editor, editor, listen to me. Editor Thomas, listen to me. Listen, you listen to me right now. You listen to me. I swear to God, if you keep that in, if you keep that in, if you keep that in, I swear to God, Thomas, I, 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 will, I will fucking fire you on the spot. And I don't mean fire you like you don't get work from me. I will shoot you out of a cannon. Do you hear me? Day 62 and day 63 was just me learning how to make these damn flowers work for me. I tried using endo flames, but they're nowhere near as useful as hydro ranges for filling up mana pools. Mana pools being the way mana accumulates in this mod, and you use these little shooty boys to shoot the mana from the flowers into the pool, but it's really slow, so you gotta make a whole ass setup, and fuck! Day 64, that's what I'm doing. Day 65, I'm still doing it! All these hydrangeas will pull from one central pool and it will refill, because it's a 3x3, thus filling up a mana pool at a whopping snail's pace. 
This is genuinely like what people recommend for a starter mana generator. I found it on Reddit, and Reddit could never possibly be wrong, so I know it's perfect. But mana takes forever. And we need mana for this runic altar. So in the meantime, I checked all my sieves, and we had just enough ore pieces to make two ADM chunks. I then smashed those two and made four ADM dust, smelted it, and finally four ADM ingots to make ATM boots. Check this shit out. 100 defense, 125 armor toughness, and immunity to fall damage. That's what I'm fucking talking about. More where this came from, please. D66 and more living rock. It's so satisfying to watch it change. And it's needed to make runes. We can make runes using everyday objects. Mana steel, which is iron dumped in the mana pool, and living rocks, usually, to make different runes. The rune of the earth. The rune of the air. Fire. Water. And the rune of mana. We need this to make the terrestrial agglomeration, which we need even more mana to make terra steel ingots. But guess what? I don't give a shit about that anymore because it's not important. You know what is important? Pull up a chair and let me tell you something. You see, we have a tradition and all the subs are already losing their minds and giggling to themselves because they know that every single 100 days, we commemorate this momentous occasion of reaching 69 days by building a sign of the glorious sex number. 69. Nice. And I had a ton of really gaudy blocks to make this the perfect combination of perfection and mistake. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cut the footage. Cut. Oh, my God. All right. Back to the grind on day 70, and there's nothing much of note other than the fact that I found a zombie villager make his way into my house, so I held him hostage via boat. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. Day 71, and we've had a couple days now, so the mana pool should be... exactly the same amount? Fuck this. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's where I'm at. Alright? I will be able to get probably halfway through Batania in these 100 days. And I'll be honest with you, it will be very boring. And if you wanted to watch something boring, you would have clicked on a different channel. No, you clicked on EQ, you wanted something entertaining, you wanted something interesting, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on my fucking knees. I'm gonna sit here and I'm going to bow and I'm going to pray to the gods up above. And the gods are going to be hopefully very generous. <coughs> 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 <laughs> oh gods, you have bestowed upon me something that I am not worthy of. Thomas, I'm gonna need a lot, a lot of like, like flashes and a lot of like just fucking holy light. Oh gods, how I love thee and I shall worship your every move. What was that? All you need are the viewers to hit the subscribe button and you will be satiated? Huh. Well, if that's all it takes, please, please, little people from the screens, or in front of the screens, wherever you are in variation of your screen, please hit the button and let me drop this really dumb bit and get back into the video. Here you go. Fuck you, dumbass man. A pool, you stupid fucking stupid bitch. Fucking fuck you. Fuck you there. I win. All right, guys. I know it's like some cheaty bullshit, but here's the thing. I could sit here for the rest of the 100 days grinding out to kill Gaia, but I don't want to bore you all with an insane amount of flowers just so I can kill another boss that isn't even our main goal. <clears throat> Dragon. All this just to keep the 100 days 100% legit. At the end of the day, these videos are for entertainment, and I didn't die or anything. I feel like this is a very reasonable thing to do to keep the fun and momentum of the video rolling. Let me know what you think in the comments, but I think you'll enjoy this a lot more than sitting here for 100 days just to kill Gaia. Anyways, fuck all that. The gods just gave me an infinite mana pool, so let's exploit it. The next step is to set up a Natura pylon and living wood with a core to make a portal. Now, this doesn't take you to a new dimension or anything, but it lets you trade items for new items, and we need all of them to upgrade these Natura pylons. We need four Gaia pylons for the fight with Gaia, so we're a bit away still. After a whole day of not getting anything to work, I managed to get it up and running, and we can now get things like Elementium. Alright. So we have a portal open now. Beautiful. Hey, I'm trying to fucking... Write notes. Fuck off. Day 73, and I'm out of flowers and mana, so I'm taking a break to head back to the nether. And using a piece of ATM, I built a portal that actually takes me to a different dimension. The other.
That's literally what this place is called. The other is a weird dimension that has every biome in it from the overworld to the nether to even the end. And insane beasts live here, including this. Enemy spotted! Enemy spotted! That is a lightning dragon! That cannot be mistaken, that is a lightning dragon. That is most certainly a dragon of the lightning variety. It looks like a baby, but it could also probably eat me as soon as it looked at me. I don't want to fuck with lightning dragon. Why am I running closer? And what? It's, it's aggro. All right, well, this is a nice time in the other, I think. I think I think it's a good time to never come back. Um, yeah, we're not strong enough to fight that thing yet. And I got 27 more days to prep, so I'm fucking dipping. Day 74, I sieved all the modium all day to make sure I get enough. The electric dragon could look at me the wrong way right now and just yeet me out of existence. So I'm really trying to get a full set of all the modium. Day 75, and if you haven't guessed it by now, that dragon is our end game. They have around 7,000-ish health on average, and that purple one in particular shoots heat-seeking lightning bolts directly at my ass. At the time of recording this, I had no idea how I was going to take it down. I just knew that I wanted to kill that fucker, and I knew I couldn't do it on the ground. So I put away my jetpack and headed back to Batania for a spell. Get it? A spell? Magic? Fuck you. Day 76, we needed to make another magic table thingy, and we needed new runes. These runes fucking suck, because you need other runes to make them. So this was hell, but I made the Rune of Spring, Rune of Autumn, Rune of Summer, and Rune of Winter, and of course everyone knows the fifth season, Asgard. Asgard is not a season, wrapping up the day with the mana infuser. Day 80, and I almost fucking died. Watch. Holy shit, that was the closest I've ever come to dying on this platform. God, my stomach dropped. I gotta be more careful without my jetpack on. Anyways, using the mana table, we made Alphium. We're almost to Gaia. Woo! One elf steal. Yay! Look what it can make! Uh, fucking nothing! To make these Alfie pylons, though, I need to use two gas tiers per pylon. So after my game crash trying to load the other, I got back in and made my way to kill some Gasty Boys. It was dangerous, but I managed to kill them all and went back to make the Alfie pylons. Or Alfie pylons. Whatever, I don't know how you say it. Now we're one step away from the big bad of Batania. Day 82, I made the Gaia pylons. Not hard, it only required Elementium. And I went back to the other. See, we need a beacon. So I need to bop a wither. Hence for the Wither Skulls, hence the other. But man, this was the easiest shit ever. I don't know if drop rates for Skulls are increased or if I'm so lucky, but I got two of them back to back within like five minutes. And then I got another whole set of nine fragments to make a one because that's what this mod has. So not even a full day worth of Skull Grinding and we can fight the Wither. That's too fucking easy. That was literally unfairly easy. That was like, that was so bullshit. Yeah, that was fucking easy. Day 83 though, and now it's time to set up the beacon. Then I placed all the pylons and a fucking course. It didn't work. After some Googling, I figured out what was wrong and we can start the fight. Now I'm gonna give you guys a banger warning. This boss fight music is the coolest I've ever seen in Minecraft. None of this is edited. This is really the way that it sounds. Get fucking ready. So apparently if you fly up too high, Gaia thinks it's bullshit and is mad that you're cheesing, so they just get up and leave. 
I now need more Terra Steel to even try the fight again. Day 84, I spawned him again, but Gaia was big, large, strong, and got a couple good licks in. So I rose up high enough that they left, and I went to go get more ADM chunks. Manually this time, because it's faster, and clearly, I need to get stronger before I can fight Gaia, the dragon, my neighbor down the street. Like, I'm fucking weak as shit, even with these boots. So day 85, I spent all of it getting ore pieces, and I made the helmet. Last piece I'll need is leggings, because the jetpack stays on when I fuck the dragon up. Or get immediately eaten. That's also a possibility. Two apples. Oh, aren't we killing it? Three, four. Dude, I didn't think I was that rich that I was allowed four apples. Day 86, and it's time for Gaia take three. Fuck you, Gaia. This is, the, this is, the, this is the most amount of attempts it's ever taken me to kill something. Because usually you just die after. What is it doing? What is it doing? What is Gaia? Hey Gaia, what are you doing? Hey Gaia, that's a lot of enemies. Hey Gaia, hey friend. Hey Gaia, hey, hey, hey homie. Hey, that's a wither sc Oh, is it, is it a gauntlet? I'm down. I am completely down with just fighting a gauntlet. The loudest music in the world. I'm so sorry. Oh, guess who's back? Guess who's struggling? Guess who's, who's got crazy energy? There it is. All right, cool. Finally took down the mini boss of this 100 days. Yay. Now it's time for the big mama jama. And yes, I cheesed her. I do that a lot on this channel. Get used to it. Day 87, we've taken out Gaia, and now it's time to focus all my efforts on the dragon. I don't like calling them the dragon, though. We need a name for this bitch. Hmm. How about something badass? John. No Johns. <laughs> Let's kill John. No. Day 88, and I finally filled my entire jetpack. Then I went back to sieving, and the game fucking accused me of auto-clicking. Like, excuse me, my poor fingies have been holding down this button for 88 days manually. I've earned this. How fucking dare you, game? Auto-clicker bad? Auto-clicker bad. You think I auto-clicked? The next couple days, I'm just going fucking hard in the paint with this gravel. I need so much ADM ore pieces, so for three days, I'm just accused of auto-clicking. Fucking game. Day 91, we made the pants. And that's our gear for the dragon fight. Here's the problem with that. I'm gonna put myself in a new world, creative, with a full set of ADM gear plus a chest plate. And let's fight a dragon. So even in full all the modium gear, we die in like two hits? We're gonna have to get crafty. I literally looked it up, and they recommend you get this mech suit, which is made from unobtainium, that's made with vibranium, and vibranium is made with all the modium. So there's no way I'm gonna pull that off in eight days. But I'm still fighting that fucking dragon. So we need a plan. Luckily, this dragon is from the mod Ice and Fire, and I know how these dragons work. Uh, kinda. You see, when a dragon is charging you on the ground, it doesn't like to stop till it bites you. So if we have a bow with enough knockback, or one that fires fast enough, <coughs> quick shot, we might be able to cheese this bitch. Day 93, to make this happen, I need to upgrade everything else I have. I made a Supremium Sword, and a decent pick with all the Inferium I've been getting since day one. I have Glowing Bread now, which will fill up my entire hunger and saturation bar in one bite. And then I made the star of the show, the God Bow. Ooh, quick draw two, unbreaking three, quick shot three. Oh, fuck yeah. That's good. I am succeeding over here, you asshole. Fuck you. Day 94, I'm decking out my bows. Yes, bows, plural. The dragon has so much health, I physically need three bows at least that all shoot really fast, have infinity, and do a fuck ton of damage to even stand a chance against this dragon who can basically one-shot me. To give me a little bit more of an edge, though, I decked out my ADM gear with as many enchants as possible, so we went from one-shottable to two-shottable. Glorious. This is about to be the most stressful dragon fight in existence. Day 95, my fucking mob grinder exploded again! I bet you forgot that could happen, didn't you? Day 96, I thought ender pearls would be a nice addition to the fight. I broke my ender cake earlier, so I had to go to the nether, and then I accidentally hit piglins, so no ender pearls for me. I'm good at Minecraft. So with all of that, Day 97, I charged my jetpack. I have no clue how much I'm going to need for it, but I'm not taking any chances, so I fully charged it. And I think with three bows, a full jetpack of 35 million redstone fuck, all the mod gear maxed out for me, and three, count them, three bows again, I think we're finally ready for the dragon fight. And I just want to take this moment, you know, as it might be my last, uh, my last with you guys, 
to thank you guys for watching this video. I put my heart and soul into it, and Thomas, you crushed it with the editing. I haven't seen it yet, but I know you did great. So make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment for the algorithm gods. We're getting closer to that ever-coveted 100k. So let's finish this video off strong, or die in the most embarrassing way possible. It's time to fight John. This is going to be a long fight, so I'm doing it on day 98 and not 100 because it might bleed over. And I just want you guys to watch this entire fight. Oh, that's a good strat. That's a really good strat. That one works really well every time I use it. Throw the fucking bow on the ground. That's a good one. That's a good strat. I just realized the gameplay was muted for whatever reason. I think I might have accidentally hit that. I like the strat where I throw the, the item on the ground and I fail really badly. Just keep out of range of him being able to A, fly, and B, shoot lightning at me. This is one of the scariest fights in Minecraft I've ever fucking had. Staring down the beast is terrifying. Okay. Knocked him back down. Okay. How much health do you have? How much health do you have, friendo? That is not... You're not telling me. I actually didn't learn anything from that. You're just picking me up, you bitch! This is a good strat. Just stay above him. Fucking tap. Tap luck, baby. I have to assume he's getting hit. Like, I have to assume he's not dodging all of these like he's fucking Neo, right? Him and I up in the skies. Oh, shit. Okay, he's changing phases. He's changing phases. I think he's going after me now. Hey, oh, that was a juke. That was a juke. It was a, it was a jape. He thought he was funny. I hit myself with my own arrow. Don't panic. Don't panic. That was my own self with my own arrow. Thank you, lag. He's at sit lightning phase. That's what he likes to do right now. That's for damn sure. Oh, he's digging. Okay. Not today. I have the high ground. I am better than you. This is not how it works. You don't get to just fly higher than me. Oh my god, the game is lagging because of all the arrows. Shrink the render. Quickly. We are in space, basically. Basically. Okay, reloading didn't fix anything. It's still laggy as all hell. Just, we're just gonna try to brave it. Brave through how laggy it is. Be strong, be strong, for now is not the time to waver. Now is the time to get things done. Frames or no frames, we shall not falter. I, I gotta itch my nose. Frames and no frame! <laughs> Switch it back to the main bow for a bit. It's got a little bit of a charge left on it. I think it's stronger. Oh my god. D fuck it. Dropping the render distance to two chunks, boys. I did fuck it. Dropping the render distance back up. Can't see the dragon. You. No way! Do you, wait, do you just... Are you falling the slowest you've ever, anything's ever fallen? You totally are. We did it! Oh my God. Oh my God. Why are there so many fucking Hydras? That's a dead bitch. That's a dead bitch. I can't fucking believe that worked. Getting high enough above the dragon stalled it under me, and after a literal 30 minutes of shooting arrows, I dropped the bitch. And all those arrows must have hit Hydras though, and they multiplied, because when I landed, I had zero frames a second to work with. But I got the dragon juice and bones, and I ran back to make the lightning dragon sword my trophy. No, it's not better than my Supremium sword, but it looks pretty, damn it. And that's worth it in my book. And that's a fucking ending. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more, comment that shit. If you want to watch more, I have a catalog of tons of crazy 100 Days Adventures for you guys to enjoy. Once again, thanks to Thomas for editing this video, and welcome to the team, man. I better see tons of love in the comments for Thomas. And if you've made it this far, eh, fucking comment Booty Waffle. Just Let's just see how many people watch to the end. Why not? But for now... Like and subscribe, ring the bell, and all that other bullshit. My name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and thank you for watching.